All right, so about a few months ago, I made a video on the unhinged community of life and scars. Basically, I called him weird for all the stuff that he says about women and stuff in his videos that I obviously don't agree with. People in his comments, I'm thinking his weirdo fans, basically said that, you know, I was soft and he's playing a character and whatever. And basically, I said in the video, bro, it should be no reason why you putting your hands on a woman. I don't care in any situation, just like remove yourself from the situation and just go about your life because it's nothing worth losing your freedom for especially women like no disrespect like i feel like some women be like tripping i ain't gonna lie so just like just dip out man like just you don't, you don't gotta take this shit too serious you feel what i'm saying just just leave you feel what i'm saying but i know niggas is like in certain situations they can't just dip out but at the same time do anything you can to remove yourself from the situation and de-escalate the situation and that's basically what i said and people called me weird for that right and it's funny how the tables turned a little bit because as recent as about a couple weeks ago or i think last week at this point life and scars apparently passed away and people sent me dms and people asked me my opinion on it i didn't really say anything i guess people wanted me to just be happy that the man died or whatever or quote unquote died or whatever um but man i really don't have any malice in my heart for any of these content creators now if you wish death on me it's always gonna be f you but i'll never wish death on you you feel what i'm saying like it's like i feel like it's not that deep i feel like some people just have mental issues and just have like underlying issues that they need to deal with because the fact that you're wishing death on niggas for making videos on you is crazy to me so like why would I do the same for just a random nigga on the internet that I just covered? So I didn't really speak on it until I saw this. Life and Scars is alive. The man is not dead. When I first heard the news, I thought that he actually died. Like, honestly, all these meme pages, like, I, I don't see them as credible sources. I see them as people that post stuff as soon as it happens, trying to be the first one to get all the clicks all the likes and all that other stuff right so i didn't really take it too seriously yeah i just left it as it was and i honestly thought that the man faked his death i think he was uploading videos still on tiktok the man probably had pre-recorded videos pre uh planned videos pre-scheduled videos so i'm like it's either that or he's actually dead and from this clip from his last stream i think he didn't really interact with his community or do any streams i think for a good minute so people were wondering what happened chat listen listen I don't know what the f tonight stream is gonna be about. It's gonna be a little bit of this, gonna be a little bit of that. If you on Galaxy Gas, you came to the right place. If you on alcohol, you came to the. If you want some meth mixed with crack in it, oh, we came to the right place. What the f is that? Chat, that was a gift today. I was like, oh, sh I want to try a new drug, so they brung over this meth mixed with crack. Sh Check, I done meth and I done crack. I don't know if I should do this shit, but you know what? For y'all niggas, for y'all niggas. Out of nowhere, his friend posts, I can't believe this shit. I hope you rest in peace for real, for real. At Life and Scars with a picture of her and Life and Scars. So that sent the internet in a frenzy and caused these meme pages to say that he was dead. And it was another picture that said that uh, this bottle is for you. Basically, you know, paying, paying her respects to her friend, right? So honestly, I thought this was genuine. I went to her page. This is a real person, right? And then the final thing that actually led me to believe the man actually died was Aiden sharing a paragraph that Life and Scars had basically saying that uh, he was guilty for not responding to him. So yeah, here it is right here. Today was already just hard. I woke up the life of Scars passing away, bro. Like that, that, like that, that, when I wake up and I see that, I'm like, this can't be fucking true. Rest in peace to him. And that guy, like literally like, for my birthday, this motherfucker writes me a, a very nice paragraph. And it's like, I felt bad about it. It's another one of these things, bro. Like I opened that DM. I didn't see that DM, bro. I didn't see that DM. I opened it today. I'm like, holy f And I just, the first thing I did was I reopened that DM. I'm like, please tell me this isn't true. I just, life is fucking scary, bro. It's so fucking scary. I felt, you know how guilty I feel from not opening his DM and fucking interacting with that paragraph he wrote me for my birthday? I feel like shit, bro. I feel like a fucking, I feel horrible. But then I started to think like, nigga, this is life in scars, my nigga. <laughs> like, bro, what makes you think he's not gonna fake his death? Like, what makes you think that he's not gonna like, try to like pull a stunt on the internet like bro he makes all these crazy videos about all this crazy stuff about how to do this how to get over on basically how to get over in life and uh, do degenerate shit you feel what i'm saying so i just didn't really like take it too seriously i saw this shit and i was like maybe that nigga's actually dead but something in me was like this nigga's alive then i saw a tweet that said here's how to fake your own death to get out of an arrest warrant that basically is just a play on his um 
his uh, intro that he does, like, here's how to do this, here's how to do that. So I was just like, wait, maybe he did fake his death to get out of an arrest warrant. Mind you, in the last video, I covered a situation with him and a woman that he was dealing with, getting into an altercation and stuff like that, and he got arrested. That was the basis of the video, right? So I'm like, man, maybe he's he's getting into more criminal activity. And lo and behold, he was. So I guess a TikToker called the prison in North Dakota, which is where Life and Scars stays at, where he resides at, and found that Life and Scars is allegedly alive, but was arrested for a warrant. And I'm gonna let y'all hear the clip. To look up an inmate by name, Say name or press one or please slowly and clearly speak the inmate's first and last name. Jeron Gray. The closest inmate name match seems to be Jaron Colonel Gray, who is 37 years old. If this name is correct, say yes, yes. or press one. You now have access to this inmate's records, which were last updated at 11.35 a.m. The following information is all that is available for this inmate at this time. A release date for Jaron Colonel Gray is not scheduled at this time. For charge and bond information for this inmate, say charges or press one. First, charge. Violation of an order prohibiting contact mom. The bond amount is $2,000. This is a 10% bond. 10% of the bond must be posted before an inmate will be released. There are no more charges for Jaron. So the next thing I saw a few days ago was him responding to creators in his own Discord. And I think apparently this was a fake Discord account and somebody changed his account name or whatever to make it seem like he's actually life and scars But this was not life and scars then under the same tweet I saw somebody said that he had an arraignment in court today The nigga is not dead and as you can see basically it says that he's he's has an arraignment in court right and has his name Which is Jerron Cornell Gray and I think a lot of people that had um screenshots of criminal record or whatever basically his name is Jerron Cornell Gray and it says the state of North Dakota versus Jerron and it says that his charge is violating an order of prohibiting contact so I guess he probably tried to contact or try to get into contact with somebody that he wasn't meant to maybe violating a restraining order I'm not sure what that exactly means maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm right somebody let me know in the comments so that's that's what it sounds like to me but the defining information that led me to believe the niggas actually alive was two things one two mods in his discord basically said if niggas want to blame somebody blame ashley meaning blame the person that started this whole thing to make it seem like the man actually died blame the people that was spreading this information and somebody else in the server said he alive at everyone another mod that said that and he's laying at his desk and has a bottle next to him i don't know if this picture was recent or not how would you get this picture you feel what i'm saying from this angle you know what i mean like who would like take this picture right and i think top is close to life of scars to even get a mod in the nigga server i think the nigga's actually close to him then the last information that we got recently was that life and scars is officially alive then it says his custody status date was october 18th 2024 at 11 51 a.m and it said he's out of custody he's bonded out his booking date was at 11 22 a.m um he was booked like for 30 minutes okay wow that's crazy and it says that his order was prohibiting contact like i said earlier the charge is a misdemeanor. Oh, his bail, bail was only $200. People said the man actually faked his death like Neon, man. Like, bro, I don't think this is on the level of Neon. Neon had four videos, had so Illuminati reacting to him, bro. It was a crazy situation. That's the reason I found out about Neon in the first place. But that's besides the point. Y'all gotta just, like, stop, like, believing everything you see on the internet, man. Just wait for stuff to come out. And that's why I made this video so late, bro. Because I need to wait to see everything come out. And by the way, all the people that's talking about my gameplay in the background, bro, we could play one-on-one. -on -one, you feel what I'm saying? And let's see if I'm that bad at the game. But that's all I got to say. It's Fargo. And I'm out, man.